So back in the days, when I was in school, when I used to be in school as a kid, there used to be a very nice story that I used to love. So there was a story in the Bible from the book of uh, the book of Exodus, and the story of Moses. Uh, and, I, and as I remember, I don't remember the whole details, but as I remember, this was the time when Moses was uh, leading the Israelites out of slavery from Egypt into the Promised Land. It was it was one of my favorites. And uh, in one particular incident, I remember somewhere down the road, I think. The, the Israelites had moved somewhere like halfway on the journey. When they, when they had moved half of, halfway of the journey, they realized that things were getting very intensive and things were getting very tough. And uh, most of them started to resent. They started to resent God and they started to, uh, to argue and to complain. So the Israelites were asking Moses that actually it would be, it would be, they were proposing that it would even be better for them to go back into slavery. So they were asking Moses that he shouldn't have taken them out of slavery. He should have left them where they were because at least they were getting food. They were being taken care of. So they were asking Moses that they were, they were considering actually returning to their captives and returning to slavery because that's the place they had known. They had gotten very comfortable there and they didn't want to continue because the journey along the way, it was a tough one. It was a very, very difficult journey and most of them they couldn't handle, they were not used to this kind of lifestyle. So it was a very hard journey, it was a very hard journey to take. Now, <clears throat> Moses was a chosen one. And the only thing he was doing, he was uh, leading the Israelites out of slavery because that was, his, that was his assignment from God. God assigned him the task of leading the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt into the promised land. So Moses was a chosen one in this case. In most of the cases, um, along my journey of awakening, in the early days, if I remember properly, if I remember well, in the early days, there was a time when I wished that actually I had not experienced what I'd, what I had not seen. I wished at some point that I'd, I, I, I couldn't have seen what I had seen. And I couldn't have experienced what I'd experienced. So I was feeling that this shouldn't have happened in the first place. I was asking myself questions like, why did I have to go through this? Why did I have to experience all of this? Why did I have to see all of this? So the journey somewhere, somewhere got very tough. And uh, I remember as well, that was before I stepped into my purpose. I remember thinking that actually it could have been a case that it could have, it, it could have been more comfortable for me when I was back in my previous marriage and relationship. So I was resenting the journey as well because I had awakened. I discovered that I had awakened, but uh, along the journey, it became very obvious to me that this was not an easy journey. And um, I, didn't know, I didn't know how to take it from there. I didn't know how to follow my, my intuition. I didn't know how to follow my purpose. And I didn't know what to do with myself. So I found myself resenting the journey as well. And I thought that, okay, so probably it would, it would have been comfortable before the the place where i was before and this as well explains the reason why most of the most of the individuals who have been in narcissistic abuse have usually been hovered back into those relationships because those individuals along the journey it is going to get overwhelming especially in the beginning stages in the beginning months it is going to get overwhelming for them whereby they are going to wish they had they had stayed asleep in the narcissistic relationships and most of the most of the individuals have actually asked them themselves they have asked themselves the question as to why exactly did they have to wake up? I will say this one more time: there is many individuals who have been hovered back into narcissistic relationships, and they have usually found themselves in a situation whereby they thought it was it was better when they were back with the narcissists, however danger however dangerous however difficult, however torturing it was, they thought that it was better with the nurses. So they thought they could get back there and stay in there because that's the life they were used to. So they were not used to the new life after awakening. I've usually mentioned it in my videos, people. Awakening is going to be different. When you awaken, when you, when, when you start the ascension, the, the beginning part is the awakening. But when you start the ascension process, it is going to be a different level altogether. So sometimes it's going to get overwhelming. And most of the cases, 
people have asked themselves, including me, people have asked themselves the question, why did I have to wake up in the first place? Because you're standing somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Awakening is like you, you, you wake up and then you stand somewhere in the middle of nowhere. You don't know what you're going to do with yourself. You don't know what step to take. We don't know what you don't know what to do next. You don't know what direction to take. And most of the cases, even sometimes, you have conflicting conflicting ideas about your original life purpose. So the journey can get really, really overwhelming. In this video, people, I want to make it very clear. You have awakened for a reason. For you to understand, if actually for you to understand the reason of your awakening, I want you to look around you. Look around you and look around. Look closer to the people around you. Look closer to the people you associate with. Look closer. Look online. Look on your look on the platforms. Look on the forums. I want you to understand. You are not the only person who is waking up. There is very many people going through awakenings, and again, awakenings are happening in so many ways. Awakenings are happening in the job places. Some people just woke up in the morning and they're just fed up of their job. It doesn't work for them. They step out. Some people have stepped out of their family circles because. Their family circles have been the cause of their problems and actually have been dragging them backwards. They have awakened from that, they have stepped out. And most of the cases on my videos have mentioned about narcissism. So some people have awakened from narcissistic abuse and eventually they believed that was an illusion. It wasn't for them, they stepped out. Awakening people, it is not everybody who is going to awaken. If you look closer to the people around you, you're going to realize that actually there is so many people around you, they are asleep. You're going to see the people in your circle. You're going to see the people you know sitting in narcissistic abuse, uh, abusive relationships, sitting in toxic relationships. Those people, you cannot turn them on, you cannot switch them on because nobody has got the power to wake up another individual. You have got the power to get all the information. Like, of course, most of the cases of these videos you see online, what I'm doing, plus other coaches around the world. We give, you, we give you the information. But the switch, we don't have the power to turn you on a switch. So you, you will find individuals who are on, online, on these sites and lines. They have been bruising these kind of uh, pages for years, but they are still asleep. They have been watching. They know all the coaches online, narcissistic coaches online. They know each and everything about narcissism, but the switches have not yet turned on. They are still asleep. And they cannot wake up. The narcissist will switch off your conscious. The narcissist will turn off your switches. The relationships you have been in, the relationships, the relationships you, have, you have been involved with, you have been actually sleepwalking. It is taking God's intervention to wake somebody up. It will take God's intervention to turn on the switch. For the ones of us who know what the switch looks like, I've already, test I've already testified in my videos. I've mentioned something about the switch recently. You can go back to my vision, videos and watch that. It will take God's intervention, actually, people, to turn on the switch for you. You will sit online watching people. You will sit online listening to coaches. You will go around in circles. You will get over 20, 30 times. If the time hasn't yet come, people, you will never wake up. For the ones who have awakened, I can congratulate you all and I can tell you people that is a blessing. If you have awakened, awakening itself is a blessing. And it has taken God's intervention to wake you up. Of course, God moved you to the right places and you met the right people and eventually, of course, you got your awakening. The purpose, the reason why you are waking up, especially on my videos, on my page, I usually talked about narcissism. The reason, basic reason you're waking up is because the switches have turned on and it is time. It is time for what? It is time to step into your authenticity. It is time to tell your story and to tell your story to the world. It is time for you to see, to say and to mention what, what exactly have you gone through, what have you experienced with the narcissist. If you have woken up, if you have awakened, you have got to understand that this has been God's intervention to wake you up. And the reason behind that awakening is that it is time for you to step into your authenticity. What do I mean by authenticity? Now you're ready, of course, plus the necessary steps that are supposed to fall in place, the healing and everything. You are ready to start working the journey so that you can tell, you can tell the world what exactly you have seen.
all the stories we know about, all the stories we have seen, whether you've read the story in books, whether you've seen it in the movie, whether you've seen it where, whether, whether you have seen the story in a magazine, every, each and every story you have seen and heard, it has been said and it has been translated. It has been actually narrated by somebody. There was a person who got the awakening. They came out. They said that story the way it was and they spread out the message. They sent out the message to the world. So the story somewhere, somehow at the end of the day, it has got to go out. The reason why you are awakening is because it is time for you to step into your authenticity. Authenticity, I mean to become the person you are meant to be, the person you are supposed to be without brain fog, without manipulation, without toxicity. You are supposed to step into your authenticity as a pure soul and tell your story the way it was, exactly how you saw it. So it is time for you to, step, to say your story out to the world. And again, you may be the person who wants, to who wants to start a platform. You could have been that person who wants to write a book. You could have been that person who wants to write a song. You may be a poet. You may be a musician. You may have different crafts. You may be a movie star. Whichever, it, whichever way it is, whatever your divine purpose is going to be, whatever your purpose is, it is that purpose that actually you're going to use to spread out the message to the world and to, to let the world know what you have seen. Because by saying, by speaking, by, by sharing your experience, you are also helping other individuals. Of course, like I said, it is not good you're going to be responsible for waking them up. They are going to wake up when their time comes, but you are supposed to tell them what they need to know. But, but again, we always have to remind ourselves it is going to be overwhelming. Waking up is overwhelming, people. It's, it's, it's overwhelming, and sometimes there is people that they wish they have stayed where they were. They have wished they have stayed in their sleeping state where they were with the narcissist, getting abused all day, all night. Because the case of awakening is very overwhelming. Sometimes you can feel that the body cannot take this. You cannot handle this because you're starting to, be, to become authentic. To become authentic requires you to shed skin. So you are shedding skin. You're shedding your old, the older version of you is dying out. So you're shedding all these skin, habits, people, places, everything that actually wasn't serving you. And now you're stepping into your spiritual self, your authentic self, so that you can be able to share this, share your story authentically to the world out there and let them know what has been your experience. So awakening in itself is a blessing. End of the day, whatever your journey is going to take you, whatever you're going to do, whatever it is you're going to do, whatever is going to lead you, it is going to be a journey of purpose. It is going to be a journey of helping other individuals, maybe wake them up, maybe give them enlightenment, maybe help them on their, on their help them on whatever it is they're dealing with, so whatever it is you're going to do, you're going to, help, you're going to help and uplift humanity. So the reason for your awakening was basically because it is time. The lights have gone on and it is time for you to step into your authenticity and to become the person you came here to be. Other than that, guys, let me know if I missed something in the comment section below. I love you all. Desmond signing out and I'll catch you soon.